Okay guys, so we have our high vis on, warm fluffy hat, and uh, we're about to go into our forest and check it out. I don't think it's doing too well. Let's have a look. It's all planted in rows. That's why it's all planted in rows, you can see across. Okay, it's not doing too well. You can see the ash dieback is coming into it. So you always see it on the skinny ones. The skinny ones will get it first because they're the weaker ones and then the fat ones, they'll get it later on. But there's no escape. So here we are in our forest and it has ash dieback. So the way you know ash dieback is you can see this tree here. See where it's all gone a bit bendy. So this is the ash dieback actually affecting the tree. You can see that this is alive and it's dead here and alive again. So that's actually dead just there broke off like that so there's no moisture left in that tree part that's just completely dead and this is tell this is 100 typical of ash dieback you can see that these curves like this all up so there's another one these curves again where if we look at a more healthier tree maybe one like this you can see that there's no little twigs coming out so what's happening happening is it is actually ash dieback so it's dying back at the top so that piece here is say dead from there up and this tree here will now try to become bushy here's another one just like it so telltale signs are the weaker trees so these are the smaller ones this way so like these are maybe more healthier ones but these are more skinnier ones so you'll definitely see it on the skinnier ones because they're the weaker trees and the weaker trees will be affected first the other thing that you'll spot is there's not a lot of this growth these are all nettles that have lived and died and there's more nettles growing on. So what happens with the nettles is when the trees up here die and there's no more leaves on the canopy, more, more and more light is going to come down. And when the more and more light is coming in, all the weeds will grow. And when they're growing, they're also taking nutrients and moisture and all the other stuff from the trees. So the trees are now under pressure. And that will cause more the disease then to be rampant and go straight through the forest. So this is... A really good one of ash dieback. You can see it all the way up the tree there. So unfortunately this forest is sick and dying. So that's not good. So we're actually in the it's uh second or third of February, so there's no growth at the moment, but you will see when they are growing the little uh, lesions. So they look like teardrops all over these and this is uh, another sign that the forest is sick so unfortunately there is no cure and this forest will be chopped cut up and um, destroyed and a new forest will be planted in its place but it won't be the same um, species of trees it won't be ash it'll be probably sick as spruce because it doesn't have any diseases that can go through the forest and the other thing is this is a monoculture of ash where we're going to be planting a polyculture of Sitka spruce and Norway spruce and a few other different varieties so that disease can't go through. So what is the disease? It disease is a fungus and uh, it sends out tiny tiny little spores that are so fine you probably can't even see them through the naked eye and they just slowly just go through the forest but they go through the whole county, they go through the, the whole countryside and you know a truck as they go past a truck picks them up on their or a car picks them on the windscreen drive a bit more and they fall off again and the diseases spread that way and um yeah unfortunately the whole forest is sick and dying there you can see it from the top here say like all the way to the base you can see loads of all these little bushy ones coming out so really the, the tree once it's if it's healthy, 
if you up the top it'll be growing extra but because the top is dead or dying it's slowly moving down and the ash dieback is, is making it sprout everywhere else. so the tree is actually fighting the disease that's what's actually happening so you can see that disease is in it so it's going to say right grow rather because the top is de dead or dying down here it's still healthy if we try out a new shoot it puts out a shoot but then disease gets halfway into the shoot here it's broken it's dead so now that bit's dying so the disease is coming back in here so it's going to go right if you're dead from here up let's go further down and that's what it's constantly doing all the time all the time so eventually it just runs out of energy it's dead but at that stage if if you're only spotting your fires at this stage it's a bit late but like that's one tree and like there's a there is a lot of good healthy ones still around it but um it's slowly going to pass through the whole forest so the whole forest is going to be removed and we're going to plant something else so here we have a tree that's actually sick and dot and it's actually dead at this stage so there's actually uh, no leaves or bark that's healthy left on it and um so why don't you just leave the trees the way they are maybe they, they'll recover and that is true but you might get out of 10,000 trees you might get one tree that's actually resistant or maybe out of a million trees you get one tree that's resistant some more of it so um yeah it's very unlikely that it'll actually live or survive but the other thing is they're actually dangerous now so like these trees this one here is small but there's other ones that are far bigger and um, I'm going to show how easy it is to push them over so it's dead so it's completely rotten it's dead that's now the tree in the ground so if you left them even if you had like people in here planting trees in between these rows they're going to block out a certain amount of light anyway and they're going to fall and they could either when the lads are planting the trees or when you're going in to harvest the trees later on maybe in 20 years time uh, the older trees these ones here that are now dead could fall on you or even fall on the good saplings that are now going to be growing so there's no point keeping them everything has to go but it's a lot So where does that leave us? Well, in a bad state really, because that forest should come out and yield us a healthy profit and the profit then should also go to help replant some more trees. So as you take out one forest, you have to replace it with another forest. And um, yeah, we have a dead forest, so we're not gonna make much money out of it. So thankfully we can get a grant, but the grant just barely covers us. So it's literally just break even. There's no profit in it. But um, we can't have a dead forest and we can't because we still get fined if you have a dead forest. So you have to do something. And um, yeah, 